everybody, friends. Grandma here again. <laughs> Grandma Fear, some of you um, refer to me as, yes, I have four beautiful grandkids. Two, of it, two boys, two girls. And it's Christmas time, as you know, and it's time for black cake, rum cake, whichever one. And that is all done. Now it's the time for the sorrel. Sorrel is the petal from the fruit of the um, sorrel plant. And you can see there's a seed in, would be in here, which is taken out and you take the petals off. So the, those, that is what makes the drink. So for export, they dry them. And um, now they started bringing fresh ones in, but before you could only get the dried one. And for sorrel, you need sorrel, you need ginger, you need lemon or lime juice, rum and sugar. Some people put some piment, a couple of pimento seeds in and um, cinnamon, uh, uh, what's the other one? But I don't, I can't even remember the name of the leaf, but um, pimento for sure. So in this big pot is the sorrel, pimento and ginger and boiling water. That's how we start it out and you leave it to steep overnight, which I did. You have to go to the website to get the exact measurements so that you can make perfect soil. Okay, now I'm going to strain it off, or strain it. As you can see, how nice and red it is. Now I've strained it, and this is what, le what is left of the soil. This is what we throw it. See? We got most of the color out of it. I don't think we could get any more. I have the sorrel all ready to go. I added the sugar, lemon juice, and the rum. And now I'm going to pour some in this jug so that you can have a sight of it. And remember to store it in a cool place because you don't want it to ferment. Always in a cool place. So here goes. Here it is, Jamaican Christmas drink sorrel. Christmas wouldn't be the same without sorrel. Um, we've got to have it for when folks drop by, and they do drop by. That's the tradition. you got to have a drink of sorrel and a piece of Christmas cake for them. So, here we go. Go to my web website, Cook Like a Jamaican, and you'll get all the measurements for the ingredients, and happy brewing. And to your family, Merry Christmas, and all the very best for the new year. Bye. Bye.